what a mess. Well, I really have been working a lot this week. I have been stripping wires from uh, EV batteries just to create my own bus bars. And uh, this is the result after that. Well, anyway, guys, it's time to start to build this battery and connect everything and not just using those temporary bus bars that I did use the last week here. Now, when I am going to build the battery itself here, I will clean everything up here first. Alright, it's now a little bit cleaner and uh, I can finally start to create those bus bars. Alright guys, so uh, here we are with a charging cable from a uh, Volkswagen E-Up and uh, my plan is to uh, use this cable to uh, create bus bars from it to this uh, battery, to my uh, Volkswagen Golf City Strummer. And uh, as you can see here, it's... Uh, can take a look at this end here. So it's 35 square millimeters in in uh, thickness. So a pretty good cable for this uh, application. And here we also have an extra layer of uh, insulation. And inside of that one, we have this EMC shielding. And my plan is to use this shielding as an extra layer of uh, protection. If uh, something starts to rub on the cable or if I've been in a crash or so something, then this uh, maybe will do the job to protect me a little bit extra there. So anyhow, that's just my plan. And uh, here is one of the ends. So I will start to uh, cut it around here and I need 23 centimeters of it for the first bus bar. So uh, let's start to cut it here. And by the way, I used this uh, cable together with my first battery I ever built to my house. You will uh, find a link up there in the corner of this video if you want to see that one. I built a uh, 16 uh, kilowatt hour battery, 48 volt battery out from a Volkswagen e app then. It was a couple of years ago and uh, it was one of my first video I ever uh, posted here on YouTube. So take a look at that if you would like to do that. So 23 centimeters is what I am going to need here. So there we have that. Right. And then we need to get rid of the insulation and also the shielding nearest the connector. So here you can see the shielding and I am just going to cut this away. And I don't want this to reach the uh, cable shoe there because then this will not give any extra protection if some, something bad is going on. All right, let's take the other end here. So there we have it. And now 
I will try to find where I should cut the last layer of insulation. So around there. Maybe you think that this cable is way too thin and yeah, it's a little thin, but I am not going to use so much power out from this battery. I am only going to use a lot of energy out from it, but you have to keep in mind here that those cables, they are not long at all. I am going to have thicker cables between the inverter and uh, the battery, so no need to be upset about the thin gauge here. It will be more than enough, it's only 35 centimeters and I will need, I think uh, I need seven of them inside of the battery. So yeah, it will be enough. So it's important to have all of those thin wires in there. Now I will do the same with the other end before I press it and you probably wonder why. Well, I am going to tell you about that and I am doing that because I will first see how I will press this uh, cable shoe because when you're working with uh, those uh, heavy gauge uh, cables and when they are as short as this one is, well, it can be pretty hard to have the cable shoe in the right push position there if I pressed everything first here. So my plan is simply just to have them loose here and then go and uh, fit them to the battery modules and to locate the perfect position for those cable shoes so we don't have to twist the wires more than necessary. Oh shit. If it has started to go wrong, it will uh, most likely keep on doing so. Well, there I have every one of them. All right, so let's go to the battery modules and uh, try to find the perfect angle for those cable shoes. So here we are in the trunk of the city streamer and this is the very first battery module and the very most rare battery module and uh, each and every battery module are holding 44 volts so when i am going to connect two of those battery terminals here this is the most negative and this is the first positive one so here we have 44 volts and when i am apl applying this connector here to this positive one up there or negative one up there sorry then we will have uh, 88 volts so uh, it will be 88 volts between that terminal and this most negative terminal so it's super important to don't touch anything when i am doing this but it's um, not so dangerous but it's definitely not good to touch them so now I will uh, see here, and by the way, I am also trying to work with the natural curve of this cable, so I don't have to fight against it, of course. So uh, let's see where we are at, somewhere around there. So I think that this will be the right angle so uh, i will not move the cable shoes here i will press them as they are right now so let's go over to the working bench again 
So here's the first one. I will give it one more press when I am finished with the other side and we will take that at once here. It should be much easier <laughs> with an uh, hydraulic one or electric one, but this works pretty good. This is how it looks. So now we just have to do one more thing, and that is to apply some shrink uh, tubes on those ends here. And I am using heat shrink tubes with glue inside just to make sure that we have a really watertight and good uh, sealing around these ends here because it's not good to have moisture and water inside of the cables. But anyway, it's open here, however, so it's probably not necessary. But anyway, I am now going to make sure that I don't have any connection here between this cable shoe here and this shielding because I want this to be my uh, primary protection of this bus bar. Alright, so I will just cut up this in two pieces here. Just like so. Just open them up here. They used to be a little glued together. So, um, just one last look. And why not just measuring it before I am sealing this up? Good, then we know we are good to go. All right, so now you maybe wonder why I am doing like this and not having this higher up. And it is always a trade-off. I mean, it will be easier to just put it a little higher up here. But I am trying to protect this as much as possible. So, um, because you have to keep in mind that we have a high voltage here. So, I want to have this cable shoe as protected as possible. So, therefore, I am pulling it as close to the terminal as I can do. And after that, I am better off just shaving off this part here. If this will be interfere with the, with the terminal itself there. All right, so uh, now I have some more to uh, create here, but I will do that off camera. And uh, probably the next week here, I am able to start this car up again. I have already tried that with those bus bars that I uh, have here. And uh, that was just uh, very temporary and only for test, of course. So I think that uh, this will do a lot better when I am putting load on this motor. Uh, so uh, as I said there, the next week I probably are going to have the first test drive with this Volkswagen Golf City Strewer. Not test drive out on the road and that, but uh, at least reverse out of my garage for the first time. Who knows? I hope so, if I don't burn down the whole place here. You never know. 
Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope I see you next time. Take care and goodbye.